This is what climate change looks like. The steady drip drip of melting glaciers that are shrinking before our eyes. Glaciers are really one of the key indicators of of climate change in terms of they're really visual, visible, visible in a way how you see climate change impacts and everybody can easily understand. You don't have to be a glaciologist, a scientist to understand. To understand well, Fabian Drenken studies glaciers and water resources in Peru. The Andean country is home to 68% of the world's tropical glaciers. They are a critical source of fresh water for millions of people. But melting is escalating. In the past six decades, Peru has lost an area equivalent to about 2,200 football fields. Water shortages due to ice loss are already common in many mountain communities. Farmers rely on seasonal meltwater to irrigate crops and provide water for their livestock. However, now that fresh water that they've relied on for centuries is becoming increasingly scarce. There are more than 200 glaciers and nearly a thousand glacial lagoons along Peru's Andean mountain chain. Carbon emissions have been rising since the Industrial Revolution, but the trend has been particularly pronounced in the last half century. We know quite, quite precisely that on average it is about 1% per year of glacial retreat we observe in Peru. However, it's important to acknowledge as well to, um, that this retreat uh, at very local scale is highly variable. So we have some cordilleras, some mountain ranges in Peru, which in the last 60 years have not retreated by 50, 60 percent, but by 90 percent, for example. They have nearly completely disappeared. As glaciers in the Cordillera Blanca mountain range have melted over the years, the lakes below them have filled with water. In some areas, like the Palcacocha Lake, it has heightened the risk of floods with deadly consequences to harass the city below. Nearby glacial retreat after thousands of years has exposed rocks to the air, causing them to leach heavy metals into the rivers. The changes are happening fast. So we have to adapt and very quickly adapt to changes we already observe in our watersheds and in water availability also downstream at the dry Pacific coast where most of the uh, large cities uh, remain and where many productive activities are taking place. It will take decades, but scientists say eventually these mighty glaciers may disappear completely. They warn Peru must start to adapt to a future without them. Dan Collins, CGTN, Peru.